Hi, it's Rachel. I consider myself someone who has been very, very blind in their life. And some of the things that I have learned that are some of the most harmful to us, our souls, I have been a part of that in my life. And to see that is very humbling, but to come out of it is something that you truly desire with a pure desire to help others who have been in that place of blindness to realize there's somewhere else that you can be. And because that is a reality. So if you can move out of blindness and doing things that are very harmful to your soul and to others, so that actually creates all the things you don't want in your life, the pain, the suffering, the fears, and you can start walking in new ways, those truths create a different life for you. And that's exactly what happened to me. So my passion and my motive for sharing what I do is because not because I'm a great person, okay? It's simply my journey. It is simply the fact that I've been in one side and now this other side and it's like, wow, I had no idea that this place existed in terms of the truth that you can live in and the principles that you can live in and what a different life and reality that it creates for you. It's this world is just so good at blinding us in so many ways. So that is my passion for sharing these things. And it truly is a passion. That's why I do it. But the other thing is that if when you guys have questions and as I see just different questions come up, then I will answer them the best that I can with different videos or in a comment. So I do appreciate you bringing those things up because sometimes the questions that you ask, it may have been something that I went through and that I learned about so that now I can just share from my perspective and it might be helpful for you. It's sort of like, you know, someone's, um, been down this path and they've been down this path and you're asking, okay, tell me about these paths. <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, let me tell you where one lays versus the other. That's kind of where I feel like sometimes my role falls. So the one question that came up was someone was asking me about plastic surgery and vanity in the eyes of God. Now, Always, when you think of that, um, first of all, always think of it from love's perspective because that's who God is. He's spirit. Okay, so it's thinking about, okay, if I'm engaging in certain activities, whatever they may be, even those, is that creating and fostering more true love or something else? Now this can be confusing because we think that if we change ourselves, we'll feel better about ourselves, so we'll love ourselves more, others will love ourselves more. Um, every morning that you get up, and I know this may be dressed more for the women, but men, for wives, your daughters, your sisters, your mothers, this can be an understanding that you can share with them that could be very helpful. Because women are, everybody that's in this world is bombarded by image, okay? And that's all it is, it's a two-dimensional image that has no life in it. Yet, many of us grow up serving those images, okay? And especially today with the advancements of plastic surgery and Photoshop and all these things, the image has gotten very perfected that women are supposed to live up to. 
okay? And that causes a huge ripple effect of problems. But in one aspect of the image that has grown for women is about lust, okay? You're, so they do things really to create more lust in their life um, instead of love because you it's one or the other so for example um, suppose a woman goes and has plastic surgery okay and she's enhancing herself in various ways a lot of times the motive behind that is because she wants to draw more attention she wants to look more voluptuous she wants to look more desirable desirable to men she wants to look more sexy and attractive by the world's image that they've established okay if you start going down that path all you're going to bring upon yourself is heartache now at first it may not seem like that but that is exactly what you're doing because now you're serving that image okay and regardless if you do plastic surgery or not if you are wrapped up in fulfilling that image then you are going to be a slave to that image and that's a bondage to you versus if you come from the mindset of honoring yourself and others and God so every morning that you get up okay you have a choice to either say I'm gonna present myself in a way that is honoring to me to God and to others or not and so sometimes women the way they dress is more to fulfill that image that has that lust in it or another side of it is that they they can't or they know they're not a part of that image because of for whatever reason and so it's sort of the opposite they are rejecting all of that together and so they don't really take care of themselves that's not honoring yourself either that's it's really doing the same thing okay so because you're saying well I'm not good enough to be that image so I'm just gonna let myself totally go that's not honoring your soul and the expression of who you are because ultimately everything that God creates is beautiful and most people if they would just take care of themselves physically emotionally spiritually they would be beautiful okay so it's that so it's, so there's two sides to that you can either be falling full long into that image or kind of rebelling against it and not honoring yourself or feeling like you can never live up to it so you just dishonor yourself so the question is about honor so whenever you have a question about what should I be doing what should I be wearing how should I be presenting myself um, where should I be spending my time and my thoughts and my energy is it really honoring who you are in all of your spirit or are you trying to conform yourself to some image that you deem is acceptable because if you're trying to conform to some image you are a slave to that you'll never be satisfied and you can never really grow in a true love of God because images aren't real and that love of God is real so you are keeping yourself in the land of the unreal and I will tell you it does not it does not satisfy and if you go down that path and you spend enough time there you will discover that now some people think well just a little bit more if I'm a little bit more perfect or they're perfect for a couple years or whatever it is but ultimately if you start really feeding that you're just going to bring a lot of heartache into your life because you are feeding in an image that you will never be able to fully live up live up to because it's always changing and it's it's always getting harder and harder to fulfill it's not real okay so that's 
I think this is very important for all women to understand. So what you want to focus on is coming from a place of paying attention to your soul. Live from your soul outward, not trying to look outward and match yourself to that because what happens is your soul and your spirit gets left behind and it often gets harmed and damaged and neglected because you're not paying attention to what's happening within you. So the best way to live in general is to come from a soul perspective and always doing what's honoring. So for example, even like with women and how they're dressing, are you really honoring other women? Are you honoring other women's husband, other women's husbands and boyfriends? And this is not a small thing because if you're causing harm, okay, in those ways, then you are causing harm back to yourself. Now that's very different from saying that you're in a beautiful, attractive woman. Okay, there's nothing wrong with beauty. You don't have to be scared of it. But the part that you have to be aware of is just focusing on an image, especially when it's laden with either um, self-pity and dishonor and lust or whatever okay anything that's dishonoring to you so these are some very um, important things for all women to consider because when I look around I see a lot of people trapped in this and a lot of times they don't realize it because everybody not everybody but a lot of people are. And so they just think that's what life is about. That's what you do. That's who women are. That's what they focus on. That's what's expected. We are in the land of the unreal. That means it's full of images and lies and fears. And it's, it's giving you things, saying it will fulfill and give you things, these things when it really doesn't. It actually creates an opposite result of what it promises. But when you start moving into the land of the real, which is where that divine love is and understanding what that love is and what it means when it comes to honoring who you are in the expression of yourself so that you're always a vessel that can exude that love, then you start realizing how harmful a lot of the images and ways of the world are. So I hope this... Um, help some of you to find some clarity in this area and another when I was thinking about that this morning um, it also goes back to if you don't want to change who you are and that's what happens when we try to live for an image okay and this could this goes true with everything the, the image of what a lawyer is and what their life looks like what a doctor is and what their life looks like what you know there's so many images Okay, but if we're trying to adapt ourselves to that, you're never going to be happy. You have to bring out and allow, that's why focusing on your soul outward, who you truly are, because that's what's real. And you do that over time, but let, by letting go of those preconceived notions, of those false images that are promising things that aren't true, and you start really focusing on your spirit. Because I've learned that if you focus on the spirit, that outer follows as it should. Okay, you start honoring yourself as you should. You start honoring others. And the thing is, especially with women, if you are honoring to yourself, then other people will be honoring to you. If you are dishonoring to yourself um, by being and living in these certain images or even rebelling against them, right? And so that's a whole nother side. Um, you're not going to find honor from others. So honoring yourself is a big deal. And that is something that is worthy of time, spending time on reflecting and writing and learning about from your situations. Because if you are in a place of dishonor, you're going to attract that kind of a treatment from others. Okay, so if you're 
a woman and you're exuding lust and now you're in a relationship and that's a part of it, you're entering in an element of dishonor into your relationship because where lust is, love is not. Okay, that's different from a desire and a love and a beauty and an admiration and all these other things. But it is a lust, and I think most of us know the difference, then you're actually blocking love from your relationships. I know the world teaches you different. It's all backwards. I'll tell you that. Pretty much anything you see in the world, do the opposite, and you're probably doing the right thing. Um, and you will, and again, if you are serving those you'll never be, you'll never find really the happiness and the joy and the peace that you're seeking in those areas. 